In this video, I found out how to separate your desktop audio from your Discord audio in OBS. Coming up. First of all, you need to go to settings, then system. Go to sound and then double check what the output is. Choose your output device. As we see here, mine is speaker Realtek R audio. Remember this for later on. Then you need to go and download voice meter banana from the website in the description down below and you need to click install instead of download. Once you've downloaded it, go to your download folder, which you can either see at the bottom if you're using Chrome or if anything else, go to your download folder. Open it up and you should get a screen like this where it says voice meter banana, VB audio, virtual mixing console and install. And you're gonna get a warning that says installation is complete and successful. You must reboot your system to finalize the installation. Word of warning, when you do this, the audio will cut off from your system because what happens is your audio then starts back up using Voice Meter Banana and you haven't selected your audio in Voice Meter Banana. Banana? Banana. Don't worry, it's part of it. So you need to go to your applications folder, which you can find in the search bar at the bottom. If you just type in Voice Meter, it will show up. Once you've opened up Voice Meter Banana, you go to A1, and you'll see it, not in my example, but you'll see that it's flashing red in the top right hand corner asking you to select your audio. This is where remembering what audio source you had originally is important because you just select that one. Mine was speaker, Realtek, our audio. Yours could be something else depending on your system setup. Then in Voice Meter Banana, you need to switch off all your hardware inputs. So just click A1, B1 and it'll go gray. Your virtual inputs are what you're gonna be using. So voice meter VAIO <laughs> VAIO is gonna be your desktop and voice meter UX is gonna be your Discord or whatever other software you're using. I've chosen to go to Discord, but you can select something like Skype or anything like that. But to change it so it uses different ones, you need to deselect B1 in your voice meter UX and select B2. And you can rename them. It doesn't show in the settings that it's been renamed, but just for maybe your help, you can rename the first one to desktop and the second one to Discord. But just remember that desktop is voice meter via, I got it right that time. And Discord is voice meter ux. Then you need to open up Discord. Go to your settings cog next to your name at the bottom. Go to voice and video, select your output device, change it from whatever originally you had to voice meter ux. Now, for some reason, when I first did this, it didn't show up as voice meter ux. It showed up as just voice meter VB, audio, blah, 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 blah. Just pick the bottom one would be my advice. Then you need to open OBS. Now I'm using Streamlabs OBS, but it's exactly the same for normal OBS as well. You go into your settings, you go to audio, and you'll have a number of different channels that you can use. Desktop audio device one, desktop audio device two. First of all, you need to select voice meter input via, which will be your desktop audio, and then go down to the second audio device and select voice meter ux. Then all we have to do is rename them if you want to. Just, just makes it clearer when you're streaming. If you click on voice meter input, the cog to the right hand side of it and rename, and I rename mine keeping in the voice meter ux to discord and renaming the top one desktop voice meter via. And that way then you can switch off your desktop audio or your discord audio, or you can set different levels for each. Say you want your discord audio to match your microphone, you would move it down a little bit or wherever your microphone is positioned and desktop audio generally i have my desktop audio quite a bit lower than my microphone but it's just personal preference to test this out you can go back to discord and switch on your mic test and when you do that go back to obs and you'll see that your discord voice meter is going up and down or across and then if you play a video inside or a song or something to test your desktop audio, you can see there's a difference between both audios and you can mute and thingy on whatever you want. And don't worry, 
when you've stopped mic testing your discard mic, your microphone and your discard will be completely separate. And also a discard will separate your microphone. So it will only pick up your microphone in OBS. It won't pick it up from discard as well. So you'll have to have separate tracks for your microphone, but that should be pretty obvious. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel, please subscribe and join along. We do loads of stupid stuff here. Generally streaming or videos to do with <coughs> Stadia. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching guys. And we'll catch you in the next one.